Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. God, that is amazing. So he's actually moving. Yeah. Remember to hit that subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting dancers, singers, and musicians, and making them come alive on the canvas. With me today is Wendy Pereira Acqui, all the way from Port of Spain, Trinidad, and Tobago. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Jenny Lynn. So pleased to be here. Thanks for having me. And thank you so much for joining me today on Art Snack. Wendy, tell me a bit about your journey as an artist. When did you realize you loved art? Oh, I loved art since I was small. Since before I went into primary school, I loved art. At, at, at that stage, it was drawing and coloring. Yes. That was art. But I colored. <clears throat> I had an elder sister who liked to color, and she taught me to color in the lines, shade yes. it stuff like that at that point in time but I did art until form three had a lovely art teacher it was wonderful okay. and when I went to two subjects what well, um I dropped out okay my mother was distressed uh, okay that's but that's different for a Caribbean parent <laughs> she was like why are you dropping your art you like it you do it well you have a you have a you know pension for it why are you dropping it? And I point blank told her, I have no plan to be a servant artist. This is what is going on in this world. That is not my story. No. Right. Because my mom and dad ran an office equipment business. So I also loved administrative stuff, office administration. Okay. So I said very clearly, I said, after form, I'm not doing form six. After form five, I'm going to secretarial school to make sure I have a back end in case of emergency. Plan B. Okay. <laughs> University in Canada, I went. Yes. And I did office admin administrative and office management. That's okay. what I did. Yes. But while there, of course, you never stopped drawing or doing some kind of art or crafty art, because even after I dropped art itself, I was teaching Cub Scouts how to do things. And oh. there were little paintings and drawings. And I kept, so it stayed, but you don't really pay attention. Until you come back and you started to work and you thought, hmm, okay, maybe I'll um, buy a little something, a little paint. And we went on a trip and my uncle bought me um, a wood burning. Okay. And this is what really started. <laughs> Sorry, so I started pyrography. But on that same trip, I went, oh, airbrush, what's that? That's new. This is, was new at the time. Yeah. Let me buy an airbrush so I bought myself an airbrush and I came home with my wood burning tool and my airbrush okay <laughs> I started painting again in a big way on fabric oh interesting right and was this and wearable art absolutely wearable art okay. I everybody in my family had everything from the guys who went to the beach in a big cutout shirt yes to all my friends who were when surfing to everybody got for gifts, they people bought, I sold jerseys, full jerseys. Then one day a friend of mine, she, she was she was so really angry one day at the office. I was like, what is so wrong? My dress that I planned to wear for a wedding this weekend, I had it cleaned. 
But sometimes, you know, when something gets on it, it puts a stain, like what we would call a Chanet stain. Yeah. Chanet. <laughs> okay. This orange. For those who don't know, Chanet is a fruit and you can't get the stain out of it. And it's an orange stain. Yes. And I said, and she says, and I had the perfect shoes to go. And I said, bring the shoes, bring the dress. And I painted the dress to match the shoes. Yeah. And that whole new set of work my way. Okay. And I didn't know I kept it for a long time. Wonderful. And then I took a, I'd have to say, I took a break because my career, because I worked at Nestle, my career took a real busy hit for a while. Okay. But in there I did different, you see, you never know what form is going to come back to bite you in it. Yes. I yes. Nine course. I did more fabric design, fabric painting and, Color, fabric coloring design classes. Okay. So I did. So then I ended up doing block printing, batik, and all these, all the different me, um, genre and media as well. Yes. So in fabric art. Then one day, but well then my, my, I, well, of course, by this time I was married, my husband likes photography and he never got to show his pictures. So I met Clayton Lefrey, that's why I knew before. Yes. And I said, does the art society um, entertain photographers? And he said, sure, no problem. Well, my husband said, if you join and I'll join. So I said, okay, fine. And I joined. Mm -hmm. And my office administration side was very interested in how you run exhibitions. Okay. And I would go and help every so often if it was they needed bags, packed envelopes, stuff, stuffed, pass me this painting. And I saw I got involved there. But I also got in very involved when my a friend, a, a classmate of mine, needed to raise funds for a kidney transplant. Okay. And Bunty O'Connor was so influential in teaching me a lot of things about who, which artist was that we were collecting the art from to do the silent art auction. Yes. And so thanks to her, I got exposed there. Thanks to Clayton, I got exposed to the Art Society. Art Society. And okay. Thanks to Horizons, Cheryl Blair, I learned a whole lot about where, how you hang, what yes. you don't do, what you should do for an exhibition, or how to run a silent art auction. She's the most amazing lady in art that I have ever met. Okay. Uh, in the art world here, I have to say, because she's so knowledgeable. And talented, might I say, she's another one who you could probably have an interview with, okay. you know. <laughs> and, um, and then I started helping more. And Clayton goes, Wendy, I'm doing an art, a watercolor class. Come and do it. And you know the last time I painted on paper? It's like 40 years ago. <laughs> years later, a year after my mother died, Okay. I did it again and I thought to myself, this is for you, has to be for you. And that's been the story since. A year after that, I began, and that's about five years ago, six years ago. Six years, what are we in? Yeah, about six years ago now. So I started painting again six years ago. Okay. In my, with my watercolor. Um, you like watercolor? I was going to ask you what medium of choice. Actually, that's okay. going to be interesting because my what my first watercolor that I ever did, I kept. Yes. I have it framed hanging on my wall. I like it. My second watercolor sold in an exhibition and I nearly freaked clean out. Mm. Um, <laughs> I can't imagine. And then so we were doing some monochromatics. So Wendy, well, thank you for telling us a bit about your journey as an artist. Please show me a few samples of your work. Okay, so here I have a watercolor, a monochromatic watercolor. This was not taken from any picture. Okay. Um, you just imagine the scene and painted it. I imagined a lot of it. When I say it's not taken from any picture, this would have been maybe a piece of one picture that I had had, but yes. this is different. I do know that there are places that have several because I used to sail. Okay. So, yeah, so this is one and it's called Gently Bobbing and Weaving and on the swells sounding like angel bells. Okay. And why that was, this went, this was in an exhibition called Icy Angels. 
that I was in with five other ladies. Yes. So this is it. So because when you hear there, the masks and the halyards clang in, and they do sound like angel bells. Okay, okay. okay. So this is Beautiful. one. Yes. But this is watercolor. Then okay. I did it. So I have watercolors in different um, topics, I'll have to say. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Landscape it's, and then um, what other, what other subject matter you like to paint? So I also did, this was for the same exhibition. Okay. And she's called the juggler. Okay. Okay. And I don't like painting faces at this point in my art career. Okay. No, and then I decided I'll do a graphic. No, I, I also used to dance ballet. Okay, so yes, I yes. love ballerinas. And again, this was in I See Angels. So her skirt is an angel trumpet flower. So I'll bring it a little closer so you can kind of yes, see. Yes, yes. Okay, lovely. So I did a series called Angel Dancers. Okay. So this is one of them. And I chose this one because this is my mood right now. I'm juggling many things. Yes. <laughs> when the Minister of Education, the then Minister of Education, so it, she says, oh yeah, I feel like this regularly, you know? <laughs> juggling, yes. But um, I have a love also for old, this particular old building. It's an Anglican church. St. Chad's and Chagrams. So my okay. first Big watercolor. Oh, lovely. Was, it's huge. I remember um, seeing that on the way to Shackville. Right, St. Yes. Chad. So this is one of the windows. So I painted this one. Okay, lovely. And I painted another one where I have to thank another artist, another well-known artist for some guidance in it. So this is this, this oh, is oh yes, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna come a little closer so that you can see, so that I can see. You see those bamboo? Oh you see those right, bamboo? yes, yes. Thanks to Peter Shepherd, I can paint bamboo leaves now. Okay. Because oh, I so you got guidance in painting the bamboo leaves. Because when I started painting it, I just painted the fronds, not the leaves, and I was like, I don't know how to paint these leaves. Okay. And so I. Phoned him up and went, I need, to, I, I need to put some leaves on this, don't I? He goes, yes. <laughs> so that was, you know? <laughs> and that's what I, how I feel about art, you know, Jenny Lynn. Collaboration and you yes. help. And what you learn, you can share without giving away your trade secret, you yes, know? Yes, yes. Um, and um, fortunately for um, social media, we can learn a lot from other artists whom we don't even know. You know, you yes. go on YouTube and you will get guidance on many different yes. aspects of art because I'm self-taught. And um, one one time, you know, a friend gave me a kit of uh, pastels, oil pastel uh, crayons, and um, I didn't know how to use them. So I went online, looked at a few YouTube um, tutorials, and then I did some family portraits <laughs> using the oil pastels and I found them very, very interesting for portrait work. Now, I haven't done any recently, and I, I have a new kit that's just sitting there, you know, and I will, I will get back to it. But um, well, you know, that is so to share with other artists, for sure. Because I, so, a friend, another friend of mine from school goes, hey, I'm giving you this. There were soft pastas. I said, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, oh well, thanks. So actually, I did a soft pastel piece. Yes. And uh, it was in our exhibition of 12 ladies. Uh, it was called Art for Us. It sold along with mm -hmm. um, another piece that I had done, which was a wax resist watercolor piece. Okay. And we went, oh, and somebody bought both. And I was like, whoops, I'm so thrilled. So I'm trying different mediums. Yes. Right now. So this hung in the rotunda. So this is a wax resist. What oh, lovely. That was for the um the the ex recent exhibition. Um, music, yeah. Music. Okay, beautiful. 
love this one. This one was in Mother Nature and the colorful notes. Okay, beautiful. I like the color scheme as well. You know, you get a little different. But my foray now, I did a little. My acrylic. Ah, with abstract blue. work. Okay. I did a little thing. It's textured. It has the model face. It's called two fig leaf. You see them? I find I can see them so easily. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, two fig leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it looks like something that could be on fabric, you know, wearable art. So, you know, you never know. I think that I'm very interested in trying different media. Um, yes, yeah, so tell me what, what uh, events do you have uh, coming up at the moment? Oh, okay. So as a director of the Art Society, I'm also involved in many things. And that's why you hear me talk about different artists and who's influenced me. Yes. It's all about helping the artists and what we have coming up on the 11th of February. Yes. Running to the 11th of March is our carnivalesque, um, I'd have to say, exhibition. It's yes. called Kaiso Kaiso. Kaiso Kaiso. All Kaiso. right. So, so there is... Uh, in, in our call, I did the little blue and explained what Kaiso, Kaiso really meant from a uh, language point of view. Okay. And it go along, go along. But okay. here, it depends on your head. I'm go, Kaiso, Kaiso. If you think about, if you knew the name, um, the translation, you'd say, yes, it's like, uh -huh, go, go for that. That's okay. song real good. Right, right, right. But it means, yes, words. And, words. and is this some um, virtual... A virtual exhibition or in person? It's an in person. Okay. Um, there will be a flip book. There will, we'll pro probably try and do exactly what, when I say exactly what we did the last time is have walkthroughs. Yes. Just like the videos you saw before. Right. Virtual walkthrough um, yeah. of the, ex the physical exhibition. Okay. Yes. And what other projects are you involved in? Other projects, non-art related or art related? Art. <laughs> art related. You oh mentioned something about banners. Tell me uh, about yes. that project, please. I was waiting for that question. So I'm involved with Michelle Hart and her co and her uh, company Savvy, which is Caribbean Art Savvy. She's um, this project runs under. It's the second year this banner banner, which is project which is art across the streets so it's called a drive through by um exhibition okay running it's really a drive under and people yes, walk yes but we call it go drive through so last year was first this year's memories and is okay. this one here with us that might have a piece in love oh, yes so for the viewers um I um, was asked to contribute art to make a banner for this drive-through project. And please tell the viewers where it will be. Okay, this drive-through project, this drive-through exhibition called Memories is going to, it runs on Arapita Avenue and Tragreet Road. And so from, from our Roxy Roundabout. So it really starts at Cipriani Boulevard, so you, because it lets you drive e west on Cipriani and come back east on Travery Road or Travery drive Road. Right, so for those who don't know, these are some um, important streets in Port of Spain, Trinidad, yeah. and um, very lively streets when it comes to entertainment. And um, for those who are listening from Trinidad, please do drive through <laughs> Travery Road and um, our Ar avenue Ar to see the banners. Each banner would be work from a, a particular artist and yes. features work from a, an artist. And how long would, would the banners stay up? These banners that started going up last night in, in, in sections um, okay. will be up from, we have permission for them to be up until March. Okay. Our, with our lovely north, where, um, in our northeast trades, no, right, right. the winds, yes, yes. They, they um, could we, be, um... we hope they don't do anything drastic, but so we have groups and if they're going up as the art comes to us and as the sponsors say yes and approve and go up, 
So we have some, we did travel to last night. Our yeah. is going up today. Okay, so, excellent. So uh, I look forward to seeing some videos and featuring some videos of the uh, drive through art in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. We don't have carnival in Trinidad this year, so viewers can certainly enjoy art and memories as it's called, memories, um, some beautiful art on these streets. Well, Wendy, that's all we have time for today. Please tell the viewers how they can see more of your artwork. Okay, you can see my artwork on Facebook and Instagram. It's Wendy P A. Art or P Aqui Art. I never remember the yeah. But once you get Wendy P A, you'll get the rest. Um, okay. Yeah. My Instagram is going to be updated. So you because I'm heavily involved in art society right now, I'm not spending a lot of time on my social okay. media. And please give us the uh, social media handles for the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago. Art Society TT. So you will find us on Instagram and Facebook with that handle and our website. If you search for a website, you will find it at artsocietytt.org. Mm -hmm. It is uh, currently, well, COVID. It's, it's going to be updated soon. Updated, yes. All right. And the viewers can also see some of my artwork at jennylynjames.com backslash art and on Facebook and Instagram at Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like and share this video and share with friends. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye.